Good morning, Internet. Adam Bate here from B2Net Solutions, and this morning we're going to do just a quick demo video on using the whitelist and blacklist within the Spam Assassin spam filter, um, all within the Plesk 9 hosting environment. Now, last week we we went over setting up Spam Assassin um, and sort of configuring it for each domain or each email address under Plesk 9. Uh, today we're going to take it a step further and actually look at um, adding emails or entire domains into the whitelist or blacklist. So the first thing you're going to want to do just go ahead and log into your uh, to your plus nine hosting environment and once you're in here we're going to click on domains and then the domain name uh, that you're using for this in this case it's the coffeebean.ca uh, once you're in here click on mail accounts and then choose the mail account that you want to set up the filter for um, so it's in this case it's adam at the coffeebean.ca we're going to click on spam filter and you'll recognize this screen from from last week uh, where we have the stars and spam uh, we set the score to three I believe uh, and then we enabled spam filter um, and what we're gonna do you'll see blacklist and whitelist along the top uh, we'll get into training in another video but the first thing if you have someone you want to blacklist uh, say for example you're receiving a, a newsletter um, email or you know a spam email that seems to be, be slipping through the cracks of spam assassin you can go right ahead and add the address right in here in the blacklist um, you can do it in a, a few formats you can do sort of user at um, the domain name so let's say it's like online pharmacy.com um, or you can do star at online pharmacy.com um, so if you want if there was just one particular user you wanted to ban um, say that that person had some malware on their computer and it was sending out emails on behalf of this email account and you just wanted to temporarily sort of blacklist this email you can do that in here on the user level or you know if there's a, a phishing site or, or an obvious spam site that's been sending you some emails from a whole variety of, of addresses um, then you can go ahead and use the star at domainname.com and that will uh, that'll block all of the emails from all of those email users on that domain so let's go ahead I don't know if online pharmacy.com is a real uh, site but it uh, it certainly sounds like one that may send me spam so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK there and once that gets set up um, we'll go ahead and click on whitelist at the top we can add addresses the exact same way we did to the blacklist to the whitelist. So say if you have a friend who's perhaps hosting on a shared server um, and for whatever reason some of those servers IP addresses were flagged um, as, as spam in some of the spam databases. And so oftentimes what happens is, is even legitimate email from the server will temporarily be flagged as spam. Um, you know, a lot of times the web host takes a few days to get those IP addresses removed from the list after they cleaned up whatever issue was happening on the server. Um, but in those, you know, few days to a couple weeks, this user may be trying to get a hold of you or this person may be trying to get a hold of you and, um, and you know, your spam assassin and your spam filter will, will flag those email addresses as spam. So what you can do is go ahead and you can enter user level or the domain level again in this list here. Uh, so in this case I'm going to do say star at b2netsolutions.com. Um, now obviously we're not sending you know sending mail from from spam IP addresses but this will ensure that sort of all of the email from my team gets gets delivered to me okay um, we can also you know add specific clients so if you wanted to do like star at your client.com um, just to be sure you know for whatever reason if, if their address happens to be compromised or their com home computer you know might have a little bit of malware on it and send out some spam that your your address and, and your account will accept all mail from your client regardless of um, of what it is. So we'll just go ahead and just leave the first one, the at B2Net Solutions there, click OK. And once that's set up, um, you have successfully entered you know an address into your blacklist and whitelist. And really that's all there is to it. You can enter as many as you want into each. Um, and again, we'll go into a little bit more detail on sort of how to train Spam Assassin at a later date um, and sort of pick and choose which emails are, you know, are risky or, or definitely spam and which ones are, um, are certainly okay. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to open a trouble ticket with us if you're an existing client or as always, uh, hit us up on, on Twitter at B2NetSolutions and we look forward to hearing from you.